So this it will be the fourth field that we are improving. It'll undergo a million dollar makeover. You're gonna get a new fence, a new field, new bleachers. You will not recognize this Riverside Oval. And I wanna thank Assemblyman Wimberly, always been an advocate. We always seek his input. He's saying that this field should be dedicated to the Riverside Vets, who cut me when I tried out for the team. Dedicated to all WAGs, who cut me when I tried out for the team. But as you can see, I don't harbor grudges, and I'm not a vindictive person. Because I did finally get to McDonald's and played for Mr. Henderson. My coach was your pastor, the, Re the Reverend, or the Reverend Dr. Randall Moses Lasseter. But nevertheless, it's another win, a big victory for Patterson. We, in line with Buckley Field on Chamberlain, Brandy's Field over on Marshall and Hazel, putting them over now, Ray Lide Senior Field. Now, Junior, we have Riverside Oval. The fourth field, actually, this will be the fifth field because Hinchliffe Stadium counts too. But it's in a, in a league, with all due respect, in a league, that's right, Bowerly Fieldhouse. I'm sorry, I didn't mention another one. And the field too, that's six. If we keep going, we'll come up with more fields. But our goal is to fix all the fields. We got money earmarked for Eastside Park, Pennington Park, Westside Park. We just got to convince the council to move on that one. They did but that's another story for another day. But nevertheless, we are so encouraged that we are going to fix this field and give the people what they deserve. And Rainier, I know you're a business owner. You want to hear this. We're not only fixing Riverside Oval, we're going to fix River Street. We're earmarking Ameri American Rescue Plan money. It's not an easy fix. It's the sewer that needs to be repaired. And then we'll resurface the road. It's an $11 million project, but we have the money. It's all earmarked through the American Rescue Plan. And another thing that's encouraging, and TJ Best and I are proud of this, not too far from here, the Leader Die site, an eyesore, was fallow for a long time, is going to be the future home of Phillips Academy. I think we have the, yes, we, we have the, the shovel for Phillips Academy here at Riverside Oval. So without any further ado, I want to present to you a champion for children, our director of the Division of Recreation, our assemblyman here in the 35th District, Mr. Benji E. Wimberly. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is a great day. Growing up in the city of Patterson, uh, for too long, this field has not been utilized to right. the potential that it has. But the history of Riverside Oval is the Riverside Vets and the OWAGS AC are two of the oldest right. youth-sponsored uh, programs in the city of Patterson. Uh, the Riverside Vets went for over 50 years, and believe it or not, the OWAGS AC, still with JoJo Parks, Coach Parks, is going on 70-plus years oh. of to the city of Patterson. So that these guys deserve the accolades, and uh, more importantly, our kids deserve this. That's right. So uh, as a youngster, you know, in the uh, 70s and 60s, every Saturday morning, All Wax AC had T-ball here, which yeah. we sponsor currently at Ray Live Field and School 25. So every morning, this field will be flooded with kids from the Riverside of Patterson, Riverside section of Patterson, obviously School 18, uh, Riverside Terrace Fifth Ave Projects, Kids grew up here. So you have right. legends that came through here. And I, I just saw uh, Travis Muckle's dad, oh. Andy Muckle, was the coach for many, many years with the Brown Boys and so many other great athletes to the Dwight Wilbers, you name it. They played for either Riverside Vets or All Wags. And when you got to JD, you played for All Wags after you got turned 13 years I, old. I yep. So in turn, having a new lighting system, yes. uh, synthetic turf here. This is a win, not just for the youth, but the residents of Patterson. And get this uh, field house up and operating. You know, people will come from all over. And as kids, uh, they had the King Richards Court softball, where it was a four-man softball team, and people would pack around here in the thousands to come watch them play. Four men, because it was an amazing pitcher, would come out and play our all-star teams. The Clancy's, uh, uh, legendary teams that you have from here, Blue Palace. Uh, many of the Latino organizations that were early on here, these teams all played here, and I can't wait for the day to see you be part of that. Uh, what am I gonna do? What's my tradition role? to come back? Well, you you will be the Dave Kingman of uh, <laughs> softball <laughs> here. You know, Curtis, hit, you heard that? hit or miss. So, or Mayor, miss. Thank you. I, on, on behalf of the children and Thank you. the residents of Patterson, we appreciate your Thank efforts you, to get this done. And this being field number six is so so important for the rebirth and the growth of the great Patterson. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Hit or miss, but I think this is a hit. 
I thought I knew Patterson history until I just heard our coach here, Dwight Wilbur. The Dwight Wilbur of Villanova fame? One of the best baseball players ever. But he was a good point guard as well, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. They beat Georgetown. Yes. I was rooting for Georgetown. Sorry. <laughs> I like Patrick Ewing back then. And John Thompson. They had a good team. Reggie Jackson. I remember that. That's right. I'm sorry about that. I was too young <laughs> to not know or to know. Also, you're talking about Lieutenant Muckle. He played here? He, he played, but he was also the coach of the Hall of Fame. Very good. Brown. You see this history here? So we Bill, owe it to. Bill Lissau. Oh, Riverside Vets. Riverside Vets. He cut me. That was the one that cut me. But anyway. And Jose Diaz, I'll never forget that. So nevertheless, no, that's it. We're not going to go back and forth. This is a proud moment. Mr. Ming, the Ming Dynasty, look at him. He's laughing. This is a proud moment for Patterson. Anytime that we can renovate a field, new lights, new fence, new bleachers. Come on, Mungo, we need new bleachers up here, right? So people can really enjoy the experience. No and so pressure, Mungo. No, Mungo's okay. He makes more money than me. But nevertheless, at this time, we're going to, do a ceremonial, groundbreaking. Rainier Gill, I want you to join us. Please, come forward. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. All vets. Yes.